Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is the second installment of my questions about Extreme Reactors 2 or 1.18. Um, I have another question. It's a big one for Extreme Reactors 2 uh, because, well, for 1.18 because there have been changes made to the basics of extreme reactors i mean there is but there isn't um there is a coolant category something that you put into your reactor that will help to cool it down to transfer the heat away from your fuel rods <laughs> uh the thing is that that some of these coolants have changed since uh, I played way back when it was big reactors. Like uh, in the first installment, we saw that uh, molten indirium is no longer a valid coolant for the extreme reactors. And uh, molten indirium was uh, probably one of the better reactor or coolants that you could use way back when um well that and the liquid cryothium but indirium was much easier to come by than liquid cryothium i mean you could get it but you really had to work for it um so my question is in this video what are all the different coolants and there really is no uh, nothing listed in the book uh, that says what are the different coolants. Um, so we know that water is a coolant and that molten indirium is not a coolant. And I built up uh, eight more reactors here so we could try out some different coolants. I just basically used my uh, copy paste gadget and I copied uh, this reactor right here with the molten indirium in it uh, several times and then changed the uh, coolants on it. And a couple of these worked, um, like the cyanide. No, I think, I guess the cyanide worked. Let me try an open hand. Yeah. Uh, cyanide fluid oh that's right i did change it to a fluid because the block wouldn't work the cyanide block would not work um, so <laughs> i tried the fluid and the fluid is not valid either and then i tried plutonium blocks and this has the fluid in it but the fluid is not uh, a coolant either and then these are all blocks that are from the extreme reactors mod by the way uh these are different fuel types uh so <laughs> i just wanted to try these out first to see what was what but uh none of these are really coolants uh i tried the block versions of all of them and then uh the liquid versions if they had it uh but the I think the ludocrite had a liquid version but it doesn't look like it is a valid block either or no that might still be the block and because some of these did not have a liquid version like these three i think it was did not have a liquid version and none of them are coolants so it wouldn't form but who did? I had an extra spot, so I wanted to try diamonds. So this one has diamond in it, uh, but I don't know how much it's for just yet. Uh, I was wanting to, since none of these were valid coolants, I wanted to try some different blocks. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure iron used to be... Um, blocks that you could use and gold i think copper is the best block to use or 
a block to use in a um, a turbine and uh, other blocks just just to see if those would work and what is the difference so I'm going to go ahead and change this uh-oh I did the thing <laughs> oops I went down too far It's kind of hard to see with that liquid. Okay, so this one is iron. Ah. I think I have to have an empty hand for this. Yeah. Let's do iron. And then this one we can do uh, gold, I guess, to try it out. back over there I just want to change the sign I think I could take this sign this oh oh <laughs> oops this one will be gold just so I can remember what's what and this one can be copper Ooh. Copper. Okay, and this this one's graphite. The graphite, oddly enough, formed it and is a valid coolant. <laughs> so I'm curious to see how that does versus just plain water. Uh, okay, so we did copper, so I'd like to do tin. as well just uh might as well in and then some lead i'm not sure if these are valid i just figured uh might as well try them in. and then no oh, yeah this one's lead and then, oh wait, did I have one too many? Oh, I did the thing. Yeah, that's lead, not tin. I did tin twice. Lead. And then the next one would be silver. And a loop. And I could tell that one formed. Okay, so this one is silver. Now, hopefully, we'll get some more that are actually valid because I, I saw that they formed. So, the iron one iron is a valid coolant. Uh, there we go. Gold is a valid coolant. Copper is as well about the tin. Tin is nice. Lead is and silver is. Oh this is great. Uh, so now I need to load these guys up with fuel real quick uh, just so we can turn them on and see what the difference is. It, which one's better and these might not even be all of the different reactors uh, or the different coolants there could be more so if you know of something that is a coolant <laughs> leave a comment uh, that or that is a coolant that I didn't mention there's uh, you know probably more Uh, but I, I don't know that there is anything that lists what all the different coolants are. Uh, so we know that water is 3.97.
and this is the different uh, stats that just plain water gets you. And changing to uh, liquid endearium increase that and de decrease the fuel burn up and the temperature. So it made it, it did make it better. Uh, so now what is uh, the coolant for iron do? Let's turn it on and see. It looks like it's better than water. Uh, but not quite as good as the liquid endearium. Oh wait, that was liquid endearium. That's right, this is actually solid endearium because the liquid endearium wasn't valid. So it does have uh, solid blocks of endearium in there. Okay, so that was better than water, but not as good as liquid endearium. So if you can't afford the or liquid endearium, the blocks of endearium, if you can't afford all the endearium, iron is still better than water and, and uh, stuff. So let's see what the gold does. Uh, I know gold is pretty precious still in my Let's Play, so... Oh, at least it's better than the iron. Maybe not fully as good as endurium, uh, but really close. That's 4.24. This is 4.3. Uh, and it looked like the burn up rate is still a little bit better for endurium. Uh, so gold, still better than water and better than iron, but not as good as endearium. Just not, not quite as good. Uh, and this one is the copper. So what is the copper like? Oh. Nice. Uh, it still looks like it's not as quite, uh, let's see, it's a little bit better than iron. It's got like 0 0.05 more. <laughs> so that'd be like 50, uh, 50 Fe a tick more. So that's good. I'm curious to what the graphite does. Let's see. This is the graphite. Oh, nice. It's still going. Um, cool. It looks like it's about equivalent to the iron. Or maybe even the copper. Let's see, 4.24. Actually, it's better than the copper. Uh, actually better than the gold, a little tiny bit. Okay, so graphite is, is pretty good, actually. 4.23, is that better than the Nigeria? Uh, pretty close, 0. 0.6. I think that's the closest that, uh, anything's been to Nigeria. So graphite is pretty good. It's better than iron. And it's only, you can make graphite from a piece of wood. <laughs> so that is a pretty good option, especially if you're low on iron or ender pearls. Uh, you can always get trees. <laughs> so let's see what the tin is like. nice so about 4.19 they all seem to be about the same burn rate 180 1.18 something ish uh so this one's not as good as the graphite um so let's try lead
Yeah, I think uh, graphite's probably going to win out because I would say use graphite over iron or any of the other things because graphite is cheap. Um, so 4.2, that's not bad. And lead is, um, well, I guess lead isn't really as common as like copper though. So uh, copper is pretty common, it's, but it's not, it's 4.13 and this is 4.2. I would say <laughs> graphite. <laughs> rather than waste the lead and silver oh it it better be good to use up the silver and it's not it's not as good as the graphite in fact that's the same as about the lead but I guess that makes sense because it's from the same mod silver and lead come from thermal and they're usually found together so and diamond <laughs> let's try diamond oh i didn't even think to try like a block blocks of emeralds um that's definitely been the highest so far but um i would definitely say <laughs> i mean since this is a small thing and it's only three blocks of diamonds i would probably use it but if i'm using it in a really large reactor i'd probably do graphite uh, just because like iron is It's not uncommon, but I just use a lot of it. <laughs> so I don't really have a lot to spare. And it's not as good as the other blocks. So definitely not want to use my iron. And the same for the gold. The gold is about equivalent to what the graphite is. Uh, so I would definitely use the graphite over the gold. And the copper, though, wasn't as good as the graphite, uh, but it's really common. Uh, so if you just have copper lying around like I do, then that would be, uh, is that as good as the water? 4.13, it is still better than the plain water. So... It's better than water, <laughs> for sure. Um, I'm I'm thinking graphite is my favorite though, uh, just because it has uh, a better energy output than most, and it's easier to come by. Like even better than lead and silver. Uh, the only thing it doesn't beat is like the diamond. But like I said, I'd probably use that graphite in my large reactor. Uh, so yeah, these are some of the different types of coolants. Seriously, I want to know. If you know of a different coolant type, uh, let me know. And I will try it out and see what the difference is in a follow-up video. I'm going to try and see if what other types of coolants there are and <laughs> and answer that question anyway thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye